Hello, friend. I'm Pastor Robert Axton, and I invite you to keep watching for the next 14 minutes as we explore God's Word together. We continue our lesson today talking about Jacob and Esau. Esau had lost his blessing because his brother Jacob had deceived his father and received the birthright blessing. And now Esau is very angry. We pick up in Genesis chapter 27, and we read starting with verse 41. It says, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Well, my, this is a very harsh uh, feeling, and we know that Esau is very angry, and now he is wanting to kill his brother. And so these words reached Rebekah, their mother, and Rebekah called Jacob, and she didn't want that to happen. And so she said, look, uh, uh, he's wanting to kill thee, and uh, I'm going to send you to Laban, my brother, your uncle. And you go there and stay for a few days until Esau cools down. And so uh, she came to Isaac and she prepared this, uh, this uh, thought to share with him. She says, you know, she says, I, I don't want Jacob to marry one of these girls that's here, the daughters of Heth. Uh, uh, why don't we send him uh, over to Canaan, and there he can get a wife. And so uh, Isaac said, you know, apparently that's a good idea. And he called Jacob and he blessed him. And he says, now you go to the daughters of Canaan and there you find a wife and you're going to find your uncle uh, Laban there. And uh, God bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people. And uh, he sent him away with the blessing of Abraham. He sent him away. And Isaac uh, left and he went to Padanaram unto Laban and his uh, uncle. And so that talks about this journey. The Bible picks up about this journey. And uh, uh, Jacob on his way, the scripture tells us that he went out to Beersheba and went toward Haran and, and he is uh, making this journey. He doesn't know what the future holds. All he knows is I'm, I'm leaving my angry brother behind me. And the Bible says he came upon a certain place because the sun was going down and it was getting dark and he needed to settle down. Now, uh, the Bible says in verse 11, in Genesis chapter 28 and verse 11, it says, He lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. He took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. He, I don't, it sounds very uncomfortable to me, but the Bible says he took a, a stone and he made it somehow to be his pillow and uh, there he laid down and slept. And he dreamed. This is what comes to pass. He dreamed a dream. And behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I'm the Lord God of Abraham thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed." Oh, uh, he goes on to say, And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. Well, it seems that 
this covenant involved touching the land. <laughs> Whether by laying on it or by walking on it, he was there and the Lord said, I'm going to give it to you. And Jacob awakened out of his sleep and he said, surely the Lord is in this place and I knew it not. And he was afraid and he said, how dreadful is this place. This is none other th but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning, and he took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. You know what Bethel means? Bethel means the house of God. Oh, Bethel, the house of God. This words, com combo words, combination words that you find. Bethel, Bethel, the house of God. Later, you uh, maybe a more familiar one would be Bethlehem. Uh, Bethlehem means the house of bread. So you see this, this Beth is the house and El is God, the house of God. I'm going to come back to that later. But he wakes up and he says, I didn't even realize the Lord was here. And so he goes and, and uh, he travels on. And let me just uh, walk through rather quickly, considering the time left, and come back to Bethel again in this lesson. But Jacob goes on and he marries a wife and and God blesses him, and we'll expand on that later. But God blesses him, and he, he comes back a, a, a rich man. But uh, here he is, and he spends 20 years, 20 years, that's right, 20 years. And he has spent away from the house. And now he's got uh, wives, he's got children, he's got servants, he's got herds of flocks, and he, he says, I'm going back. Uh, Laban, my father-in-law, I'm going to return back home. And now, they didn't have email. They didn't have, uh, they didn't have uh, phones. They, di they didn't have any of this. So he's headed back. All he knows is what his memory was. I left because my brother was angry. He was wanting to kill me, and I'm returning. And so as he returns, 20 20 years later. Mama sent him away for a few days. He stayed 20 years, and now he's returning. And as he returns, he's thinking, now nah, I'm going to go see my brother again, and I'm going to appease him. I've got things I can, gifts I can give him. I can give him herds and flocks. And, I, I, you know, he's got the blessing of God on him. God has blessed him in such a way. He's, I'm going to bless my brother. I'm going to do that. And, and, and he comes, and as he's coming back, as he's coming back, what's, what's beautiful about this is as he's coming back, we find that he comes back to this place and, and he comes to Bethel again. He comes to Bethel. And, and the Bible says this time, though, when, when, he, when he is there, he doesn't call it Bethel. No, he calls it El Bethel. Now, Bethel, that's the house of God, but El Bethel is the God of the house of God. You see, at one time when he was uh, young and, and, and he was uh, uh, maybe uh, less mature, uh, he knew God was there and, and it's the, all about the house of God. But now he's coming back, he's realizing it's not the place, but it's the God of the place. Oh, friend, what life's experiences had changed him and brought him back to this moment and this place. And, and so when he's returning, he's returning with, with concern. He sends out people looking for his brother and, and these spies return and they said to him, they said, they said uh, Jacob, uh, uh, we went and, 
and uh, we, we found your brother. Um, and uh, when we found him, uh, this is what happens, Genesis 32, verse 4 through 7. He commanded them, saying, Thus shall you speak unto my Lord Esau, thy servant Jacob. Thus have I, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed there until now. I have oxen and asses, flocks and men servants and women servants, and I have sent to tell my Lord that I may find grace in thy sight. You go find them and tell him this. And the messengers in verse 6 returned to Jacob saying, We came to thy brother Esau, and also he cometh to meet thee. But that's not the way it ended. And 400 men with him. Whew. The Bible says in verse 7, Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. And he divided the people that was with him and the flocks and the herds and the camels into two bands. Oh, Jacob was upset. He was concerned. Don't you know? Remember when he left? He left with an angry brother that wanted to kill him. And his first encounter after 20 years is Esau's coming, got 400 men with him. And he's thinking, oh, and he's coming back to kill me. That's the last I heard. But oh, wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. Remember, Jacob, Jacob, you don't give up easy. That's right. Jacob, remember, you were blessed. Jacob, do you remember the God of Bethel? <laughs> do you remember the God of Bethel? You need to seek God. Jacob did the most wise thing he could do. He separated his family into two groups. He said, I'm going to put half of you on this side of the river. I'm going to put the other half on the other side of the river. If Esau comes and takes you all first, at least I'll save this half. They can flee. Same way over here. If Esau reaches you all first, the others will flee. And then Jacob went off by himself. Woo. He goes and he is alone. He's probably going to spend some time talking to God. But in that nighttime, there came someone and began to grapple and wrestle with him. Oh, friend, do you know uh, this is where I'm going to leave you uh, uh, because of time constraints in the uh, broadcast today. But let me come back next week and talk to you further about uh, Jacob and what the Lord did for him. That's right. Uh, Jacob is a God that is, uh, Jacob has a God that is in control and that is able to help uh, in all things. Uh, and you can have that God to. Um, hey man, you can have an encounter with God that would change you and transform you. Come back, we're going to talk about this encounter that Jacob has with God and what happened to him. Friend, uh, I want you to know that I, I love teaching and I would love to teach more to you. Even on a personal basis, we can meet by way of Zoom. I teach Bible studies and uh, if you would like to, I would love to make time for you to teach the Word of God. There's no obligation. It's free. I love to do so. You can reach me either by email or reach out to me on Facebook and personal message me. But uh, I would love to visit with you more. If you want to know more of the Word of God, let's explore it together. Praise God. God is an able God and able to help us. Would you pray with me? Father, we thank you for the blessing of God and your mercies this day. How good and wonderful you are. You have blessed us in a special way as we've looked into the word. Help us, Lord, to be like Jacob, to seek you with all our heart. I pray you bless in Jesus' name. Amen.